All right. <laughs> I think everything's all adjusted over here. Hello and welcome back to the NAS Metal production channel here at YouTube. And welcome to, I guess, um, well, now, not really the first unearthed uh, mail video. Uh, which, of course, that was like back in January of this year. However, this would be the first VCLT uh, version of Unearthed Mail for this year. Since I uh, got a package from a friend over on Facebook, who I guess uh, definitely is part of the vinyl community, though not on YouTube, though, uh, but it's definitely someone that collects vinyl for sure. And he happened to send me something. Uh, of course, um, you know, I, I guess I will uh, give out his name is uh, Josh Green over at uh, Facebook and Force of Steel Forum. A uh, good friend of mine, in a way. <laughs> yes. So, um, he just wanted to send me this uh, record that uh, he thought would definitely be up my alley, and I'll definitely be, will be uh, getting to uh, opening this uh, here real soon. Let me get out my scissors, just so. I definitely have it uh, over, like, flipped this way so I don't give out his address and everything. But let's kind of uh, get into uh, the records playing in the background. I know um, just a classic record, definitely, for me, as of course is Armed Force. Forces, Let There Be Metal. I know that Bip Bop Boom actually went and showed this in one of his past videos. And uh, I just wanted to kind of play this for a bit so I can test on my record player at least to make sure that everything's in stereo. But I think it's already um, over already. So. Just a great record, love it. It's just a five-track EP. They changed their name to Armed Force after this EP, so it's about time to uh, take this record off, at least. So, all right, all right. Uh, I know, just uh, gonna have to uh, listen to background or crackling or whatever, just so. So I can, because I might just do a needle drop on this record that I have sitting in this package. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but but it will probably be, be kind of long. Uh, you know what, I'll probably uh, slip that in there. Okay, so let's finally uh, open this up. Everything's all recorded and everything, just want to make sure. Okay, might be long, I don't pre-cut, I, I think I might have did that one time, but I don't know if I've ever uh, did it again afterwards, I don't know, I just like the suspensefulness, I don't know, again, he never told me what the record is, all I know is that it's a metal album, I think, you know, I guess I will definitely tell off, it's some Russian metal album, uh, since he's been getting in a lot of Russian metal and everything, checking out that scene. And it's very interesting when taught uh, going into the history of heavy metal in Russia or those Soviet countries. Okay, it's finally open, but he just never told me what the record is. Okay, finally have it open. This is. Oh, okay. I think I've heard of this one already. This is a record right here. I think they are. Uh, all right, all right. He's pretty much uh, pronounced. He's got a little paperback here to kind of because it's all in Russian. But they are called Magnet or Magnet. Magnet. Yeah, pronounced Magnet. And the. Uh, the album of the name is Dies Ure, Latin for Day of Wrath. So it's a Russian man using a Latin kind of title, yet in Russian. <laughs> okay, you gotta love that, okay? So basically the kind of style metal they play is speed metal slash power metal, or melodic speed metal, power, power metal. Technically 
third release by Magnet, although their first two albums were self-release independent. This was their first and only full-length album on the state-owned Melodia label, released in 1988. So this is fucking cool, actually, okay? I, I don't own any Russian metal albums to begin with. I've listened to a couple of bands, maybe online. I know about Area. I know about uh, the band Master, or I think in Russian, Maktup, or something like that. I know about some of those bands, but and I might have listened to a couple of them, but I never uh, cared to buy anything from any of those bands. So to finally own a Russian metal album is quite obviously fucking cool to me. And... The fact that it's actually this record, which I've heard about. I've heard about it before, but again, I don't think I've ever really given much of a listen. So that's why I kind of went and fixed up my record player to be in stereo again. Because of every time you, uh, when you have, when I do vinyl rips or so, I gotta do like bring out the USB thing. And then I gotta plug in a back of at least a record player. So, uh, the two little, uh, channel cables or so to make sure so I can listen to it to the record while it's ripping so I can make sure if there's any skips or or something like that so I have to make clean more and whatever so and when doing that I gotta like completely uh, pull the record uh, player switch it and the little knob or so the stair that's hooked up to the speakers basically all move out of place I gotta re put them back in so I had to do that so let's waste no more time it's time to actually give a little bit of a listen to this album so I know what to really think. Because again, just like Metal Theologian, it's just better to talk about the record or so. Or it's better to listen to it or play it instead of just talking about like you probably don't know what about. And waiting for another record or another video at least to talk about it. Best to do it all in one video. So I'm going to be doing a needle drop. Uh, of course... Josh is definitely one that knows how to, well, uh, put the records away that it's supposed to be so there's no uh, creases or anything. Puts the record right in the back of the sleeve. Nice. And of course, it's in a little plastic. All right. Let's take this out. Okay. This is kind of cool. Even though um, the record, uh, the usually Russian uh, metal albums are usually known because of their low budget are known, known for having... Uh, paper kind of sleeves. This is actually laminated. And of course, he uh, went and told me that this was going to be a, a paper sleeve because of he bought the same record and he got a paper uh, sleeve version. This is actually laminated. He's actually a little bit jealous about that. <laughs> but still, I'm happy as hell to have this. I think it's about time to not talk. Let me kind of show the back a little bit there. Well, I might just show a bit more while the record is playing. Oh yeah, he said the record was in great shape, and uh, definitely this is in great shape. I think this is, yeah, this says side one. This is going to be interesting for me indeed. I think he, oh, of course he did like a little bit of spin, spin clean, I think he said as well, to so make sure that everything's uh, nice and clean. All right. It's time to put a listen on this. All right. Okay. Okay, that definitely it's pretty speedy. Kind of reminds me of another band that I've actually listened to. I think they're, but they're like uh, out of uh, Hungary, Pogokap. That that's what this is kind of uh, reminding me of. Okay, I'm kind of liking this. The rec 
back of the cover. Yeah, okay, this is definitely pretty damn cool. Definitely, thank you, um, Josh, for definitely sending me this. This is definitely fucking cool. I'll definitely be listening to this one quite a bit. I know I'm doing my 70s hard and heavy, which all the records uh, behind here are all 70s records. But I'll definitely be listening to this quite a bit. And I'll probably also do a vinyl rip from my uh, own little pleasures and everything. All in nice shape. Really badass. Yeah, he definitely was not wrong. This is definitely up my alley. Because I love the sort of like, kind of... Because it has a bit of that sort of power metal feel to it. Kind of like almost a like Halloween, in a way, almost having a little bit of that. Or maybe another band I can think of out of like, maybe... Nah, I think it's pretty much like the European power metal kind of stuff it has. Or Scanner. But again, this is actually very uh, good sounding. Alright, we're about, I think, around 11 um, minutes here. I could bump a track or so to maybe wait, but um, the thing is, I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do, do that on my record player. Maybe everyone, if you had gotten this record and you did uh, that sort of kind of track player, so uh, on your own record player, maybe you uh, you could definitely do that yourself. But for me, I don't know if I want to do this with this record player. Anyways, uh, still, this is definitely a. Uh, killer package, definitely. Glad to uh, definitely have this. Uh, just real nice, uh, solid piece of Russian speed power metal in a way. So, there it is again. Glad to have this. Thank you, Josh, and thank you everyone who tuned in to watch this uh, VCLT edition of Unearthed Mail. So, until then, this is Every Thrash. I say I'm out, and I'll definitely see you again. Uh, today uh, for another or later I don't know because I'll be uh, po be doing a album of the week video which will be the first uh, one to kick off 70s hard and heavy month I'll definitely get that done here all right so until then like again take care <laughs>